Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create bubble charts in Plotly, and we'll be doing this in the ten steps that are mentioned here. But before we jump into the code, let us try to build an understanding as to what bubble charts really are. So, for example, we have this data, and we need to represent this in the form of a chart. So here we have three numerical columns, and uh, the way we represent this. In a, using a bubble chart, as we use one numerical column is the x-axis, one is the y-axis, and the third one is the radius of the bubbles. So the corresponding bubble chart to this particular table would look something like this, where the sales growth year over year has been represented as the bubble size. So let us try to implement a very similar bubble chart in Plotly. So we will use two libraries here. One is Plotly and another one is Pandas. Plotly to create the charts and Pandas to uh, create, handle the data frame. So let us declare the data frame that we will be using. So we have here is the data frame and it has three numerical columns and one categorical column which is section. So let us create the most basic bubble chart that we can. Uh, the syntax that we use would be similar to the syntax used for scatter plots. The only difference being here, we'll also add the size attribute, which would be our score feature. And once we do that, you can see the most basic bubble chart is being plotted, where the y-axis is height, the x-axis is weight, and the the size of the bubble is the score. So let us keep tweaking this bubble chart and let's make it even better looking. So firstly, let us adjust the width and the height uh, of the chart. We can do that by simply adding these two attributes. Next, we'll add data labels to our chart. And here the data labels, I'm adding the data labels as score. So we can simply change this text attribute to height and weight and it will plot these data labels corresponding to height and weight. Okay, so but currently I'm just keeping it as score so it will plot the score next what we'll do is we'll customize the data labels so to customize the data labels the only change that i'm making is adjusting the text font color uh, so that it is more readable so uh, we can do that by simply adding this statement which is fig dot update traces and then uh, we mention this ad attribute which is text font color what next we'll do is we'll add a chart title to our bubble chart. Uh, we can do that by simply adding update layout and then we can mention the title text as has been done here. And what this title underscore x does is it gives the uh, position of the title. So 0 0.5 would be the center of the chart. One uh, 0 would be at the very left and 1 would be at the very right. Let's just try creating it using one text title x equal to one. So as you can see here, that it has been plotted on the very right. So let us see if it does 0 0.5. Uh, what's next that we'll do is we'll also add the section attribute in our chart. We can do that by simply adding this color uh, attribute and we'll mention it as a uh, section. So section was a column in the initial table that we had. And once we do this, and this is the following chart that we get and what additionally we can uh, do is we can even change the bubble colors. So currently what bubble colors you are seeing are the default bubble colors. But I want to change it. I want to make it them slightly specific. To do that I'll add this uh, attribute which is color discrete map. And for each uh, section I'll mention that what color should it be. Uh, as I've done here. For A, I've mentioned aquamarine for B, turquoise, and then for C, aqua. Once I do that, so this is what uh, my uh, chart is looking like currently. And you also must have noticed I've changed the text font color to black because black is more root, uh, more readable in this uh, color tone. Uh, what next I'll do is I'll choose a theme for my chart. And here, just for the sake of illustration, I am showing uh, what do these charts look like in all these themes. What we'll do is we'll just pick one and then finally I'll show you the final chart using that one theme. So here is what uh, the bubble chart is looking like in different themes. The one I, that I particularly like is the dark theme. So what I'll do is I'll use the dark theme to create my chart. 
Uh, how we can do that is by simply adding this attribute which is template equal to plot lead arc and then our final chart would be created so this is uh, what our final chart looks like right now you must have seen this in thumbnail as well uh, so thank you uh, thanks for watching